Catherine Jones here. Welcome to the Catherine Convo, where I answer your questions, take you behind the scenes, and give myself the liberty to talk about whatever I want. Today, I'm going to give you a true behind the scenes look on what is going down. Here's how you know it's business time today. I have my glasses on, and my hair's not even in a bun. It's in braids. Like, this means, this means that there's a lot of work that needs to get done in a little bit amount of time, and here's why. So, super excited. I'm speaking at Funnel Hacking Live. Ah, it's like amazing. Anyway, because of that, I've had to do a bunch of extra things on the back end, and then some other really cool opportunities have come up, which has just meant that my normal sequence of things has really gotten uh, out of whack. So, yeah, so I'm just behind on a lot of things, which is exciting. In a lot of ways, we love growth. There's, there's my closet right there. Um, we love growth, we love these things, but because of that, like, I just brought on two new people to the team, which again is like super exciting, but bringing on people takes a little bit of time, and so we're a little bit behind. That's what I'm trying to say right now. And so um, the goal for this week is to get caught up because on Friday, I'm actually driving from Colorado to Utah to move into my new place. I just got an apartment in Utah and, um, and we're going out there and I'm like super excited. You know I'll make a ton of vlogs about it, but I'm really excited. I'm like gonna deck a huge part of it out to be like a studio and like an office and so I'm like super excited, a little bit bittersweet though, because I've, uh, I've just been in Colorado for like a short season, but it's been a beautiful one, just hanging out with my sisters and brother and parents. So anyway, there's a lot to do and I'm just like determined to get stuff done before Friday. So here's a look into things that I have to get done before I leave. Number one, what I think maybe the most excited I've ever been for a vlog is, is like now, it's coming out. And the vlog that comes out on Friday, <laughs> is going to be a behind the scenes of how I got asked to speak at Funnel Hacking Live. I've had so many people like voxer me the question or like text me the question and they're like, how did you pull this off? Well, I, I can share some insight, some other insight. There's just the good, good God up above, but mostly this vlog is going to take you through everything. So that's what's going on there. Then what else do I have to do? I have to pack some fun facts about myself. Um, I've just been living with roommates, so I just graduated college and then I just stayed in my college town and lived with all my friends. So this is the first time I'm living by myself, which means that basically I've just been like unintentionally mooching off of my roommates. So like I don't own silverware. I don't own a couch. So we've done a lot of shop online shopping that needs to become real shopping in the next little bit because I'm going over there and you know, equipment stuff that I have, it's very, it's little. So I got to order some stuff, you know, it might take me a little bit of time to furnish that thing, but I think it's going to be awesome. So have to do that. Um, need to put away my Halloween costume. Still haven't put that away yet. Um, next thing I have to do, finish onboarding a few members on my team and move out of this whole place and get to Utah. And there's just like so much, there's just so much, but I'm really excited. All good things. It's just gonna be crazy, but I did want to show you guys. Um, I did want to show you guys this. I like did a story about this, but I just am like probably too proud of this. But I have to show you this thing that I made. Have you guys ever done this? It's called like Color Me Mine, where you go like paint a little ceramic thing. I know that this doesn't look that hard. You're like, it's like four colors, Catherine. Why are you so proud of this? This took me like two hours. Oh my gosh, though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rich. I'm gonna put all my monies in there and do that. Anyway, so that's super exciting. What else can I show you behind the scenes? Um, okay, I was just checking this morning. My dad asked me how many views do I have on this? So I have 42,000 views with my interview with Russell, which is like awesome if you haven't seen it yet. Like it's really, really cool. So that's cool. Also, I was doing my studies yesterday and I had this huge insight. I don't know if this will be mirrored or not, but um, basically I was like doing my studies and I was like on Sundays, I was trying to like be still and just like recenter myself and like try and connect with God and like figure out like, what what alterations do I need to make in my life? And I just had this like statement come so clearly to me where it was like, be true to the time with which you've been entrusted. Like I've been given time in my life. And I think about that, like I'm not married, I don't have kids, I'm young. Like I have been given this like awesome amount of time to do stuff and like the like and I even think later but like God has given me this time in these particular circumstances to do certain things and like I need to be true to that and really utilize that and I realized that there were a lot of things that that I could tweak to be better and more true to the time with which I've been entrusted so that was like a really cool thing 
What else is going on over here? I don't know, you guys. Other than that, just like grinding away. Got my Hydro Flask. Got, um, I don't, need, I don't even know what else I got. Mostly, this is what I want to say. Go be ready. Go subscribe to me on YouTube because coming Friday is going to be one of the cooler vlogs ever. Ever. Also, one other thing. Go watch The Current War. I went and saw that in the movie theater this last week. Holy smokes. Okay, it's all about Edison versus Tesla and this other guy whose name I can't remember, but it starts with a W. And it's all about the race to like who will spread electricity fastest. It is crazy. And as I was watching this, I'm like, oh my gosh, like it wasn't even like a business competition. It was like, who's going to change the world first? And like to work and operate on that level was just amazing to me. And it, it reminded me, my brother and I, we have this friend and he's a recruit. He's like one of the top end recruiters for Facebook. And he was telling us um, earlier this summer when we, when we were with him, he was telling us, he's like, yeah, it's great. Like he, so he'll like, he's like friends with Mark, like, cause they'll interview like the top, top people. And he's like, yeah, it's crazy. Like sometimes we'll have to hire people to work on projects that will involve technology that doesn't even exist yet. He's like, they are just so forward thinking and how are they are going to like mold and craft the, the future of mankind that they are like doing these things. And I thought about that when I was watching this like electricity thing. And anyway, it just reminded me like, and this is like part of me hiring new people onto my team. I'm like, I have to be focused in the future of my business. Like I cannot be stuck doing like menial tasks or even things that like I'm good at, but like I could get somebody else to do. Like I have, like my brain power needs to be used toward the future of my business. And anyway, it's just like so powerful for me. So mostly that's like a really sporadic Catherine convo behind the scenes, but it's pretty indicative of what's going down. It's like hustle grind mode. I, my hair is in braids. That's how you know for the next four or five days until I leave for Utah and then New apartment, new me. Here we go. So anyway, see you guys on Friday. Go subscribe on YouTube. You'll see it there. Mostly, love you so much. Thank you for all your support. See you on Friday.